Hi, welcome to Building Florence. I'm Joe, and uh, you can see that at long last we're getting on to adding the ply to the hull. Now I've cut slight grooves loosely in the plywood here, just so that it fits in, and then I'm offering up the boards so that I can draw the line that allows these pieces to fit together. Oh, so messy. I'm conscious there's a lot of rough work in here, but I think the final finish is going to be a lot better than the sort of frame components. I'm using a pair of clamps back here just to secure this in place. I will epoxy under here in this line and then towards the front I'm going to use a stitching glue technique where I'm putting ply to ply. This board I'm going to cut to that line to the quarter section and I'm also going to cut it here along this bit because I know what that line is but I am going to wait on making a final decision about this line until I know the angle of the ply that's going to go there to form the uh, sort of freeboard section. One of the important questions you might have is how is this going to get tied down? Well, using the stitching glue technique, I'm essentially going to take these cable ties or zip ties, drill along the line of this, the midsection here that I want to uh, attach to, two holes either side, and then put the cable ties in. That's going to hold it down enough for me to epoxy between the holes. Very nerve wracking. So once you've drilled your holes in the top, you're going to drill the hole in the centre section and that's just a case of threading your cable tie pull it taut with a pair of pliers and then thread it through interesting to do this single handed So that's this line done. And that's what it looks like from the underside. So I've just been measuring everything up for size. And uh, I've put in some cable ties ready for the next stage, which is to be um, applying some epoxy on the frames. So I'm just going to mix up some thickened epoxy and uh, Exciting hull. That was so messy. Now I'm just using the epoxy like a filler. Now by putting these steel, really cheap steel nails in, I know I'm going to be affecting the longevity of the vessel. As part of one of the trade-offs of a boat on this budget. If you've got the brass tacks to invest in brass tacks, then do so. Oh, nice. 
so covered in epoxy, bits in my hair. Probably what, quarter of the hull? Now with board on it. Let's see how far we get tomorrow. So I've been down here and I've put some filler in between the, uh, the ply panels and the keel timber. Uh, I'll probably have to do another filler to filler um, before putting the glass on, the glass mat, and filling that with resin. It's quite exciting, it's really exciting this bit. It's quite satisfying. Wow, it's super hot. So after a not insignificant amount of faffing, we've got uh, a second set of panels on the other side. So the boat's been turned around so I can work on this side a bit more easily. Um, I've still got the uh, lower or upper <laughs> sections of the, the boat to do. I'm just gonna clean up the edges of this panel and then epoxy this in place. It's been brought to my attention and I kind of knew this already that this point here is going to be a bit too weak so what I'm going to be doing is inserting a, a floor from the inside it's different with epoxy just to um, just to strengthen that portion of, of the hull. Should be alright. I just wanted to show you here Sort of one of the problem areas is that we've got this gappy section towards the bow which I'm going to have to put a lot of the time and attention into fixing. Um, if you're trying to do something like this from home then I suggest an alternative approach to this area because this is a, a bit compromised. I think possibly this, ang this angle is simply too steep. <laughs> So I've got an issue here with one of the panels not quite lining up. So I'm just going to bring down this. Miraculously that lines up. So now that we've got these panels um, cut to size and we've got the holes drilled in the correct places, it's time to mix up some epoxy, my favourite job, and get on with that. I wanted to talk a little bit about how I'm feeling at this point. The boat is coming along nicely, the hull is um, taking shape. I think we're on day 11 or 12 now and I I think originally I thought this was going to take two weeks and it's just about this is, I do this so often with projects I think that they're going to take an amount of time and then the further you get into the details of doing a job, the, the harder it becomes and the more you've got to correct the problems. We don't always know how these things are going to work out, do we? I think probably I'm still a fortnight away. The approach that I'm going to take is that primarily it's a rowing boat. It's a rowing boat that has a motor on it and sails. So I'm going to get the major infrastructure done ready so that we can do a flotation test with um, with oars. So that's the stage one. So that will be a sort of like a phase one of it and then we can move on to things like the rigging. And I think that that will be more satisfying for you and for me if we can sort of see how the boat's progressing and then adapt it as we go. Because primarily the boat has to be good under oar and you know if you've got a situation without wind or with an electric motor if the battery runs out you need to be able to row home and it needs to be a good efficient rowing machine. So as you can see this is getting epoxied together now.
it's, her, it's Heidi harassing the birds again. just clamped up this panel um, to measure out the freeboard. Take a pencil. By measure, I mean draw some lines around the actual thing. I mean, it's easier just to offer, offer it up to what exists. applying some of my body weight to the pan to make it talk. And then you've got the outline of the panel that you're going to cut out. It looks like, thankfully, this board is going to be big enough to put two panels on for the three boards at either end. They won't be identical to each other so I'll measure them up individually. Freeboard panel on. So it's another day and I've decided that it might be easier to put these panels on if the boat was flipped. I think the easiest thing to do is to go under and lift it off. first time I've seen it from this angle and it looks enormous it, well it's tiny but it, it looks a lot bigger from this end got a few holes near the keel and I just want to strengthen this section so I'm going to put some epoxy in the bottom here So this is the port side freeboard panel which is now uh, gluing up after it's uh, been zip tied into place. Hoovering the boat! So I filled in a little bit of filler at the bottom there and I've also, some of it was seeping through so I strengthened the tape at the bottom. Um, use some better tape. Hopefully it'll be more waterproof or <laughs> epoxy proof. Um, and I've cut out these batons. Hopefully these are going to stiffen in the bottom of the boat. So interestingly the batons have got a tendency to float, which I should have expected, because they're wood. Um, so it should be quite obvious by now that we're at the stage where things are going to start to get quite messy. Um, loads of drips from the epoxy, we've got the polyurethane glue sticking out in uh, globules, and it's uh, it's going to take a bit of work to, uh, it's going to take a significant amount of sanding to get that cleaned up, but um, we'll give it our best. You can see here that the bow section is the next that needs the um, stitch and glue treatment, so that probably will be a priority. Um, I've got a slight issue in that I measured earlier in that at the top here, that's actually <laughs> the four inch ply is actually about an inch short, so. Um, I think there's going to have to be, oh mate, I'll turn that into a feature. Someone miscalculated the uh, dimensions there, but that'll be a, a nice decorative feature at the bow somehow. 
We've got some heavy rain forecast for the next few days, so I've just put the tarpaulin over. It's going to delay progress. Um, I can't put the rest of the panels on and do some of the epoxy work just until we're going to get some dry weather. So pitfalls are not having a garage or an indoor space to work in, but um, I've got some videos to edit up and hopefully um, next time we talk we'll be uh, continuing with the stitch and glue and uh, getting the uh, epoxy applied to the uh, to the joints. So from Heidi and I it's time to say goodbye. So wet! It's so wet!